Welcome to your mat. We are playing with the resistance band today, so just make sure you have have one. Um, I tend to like ones that are a bit longer. If you can get a hold of the six foot ones, um, that way when we do some of the standing stuff and you go to pull, it's it's not a ridiculous amount of resistance. And then again, there's lots of different variations on resistance that you can use depending on how ambitious you're feeling. <laughs> so from here, we're just going to draw the abs up and in gently, and just start that nice little rocking back and forth to find that set connection to the floor. It doesn't have to be a big releve, just that movement moving. And then from there, relax the shoulders, settle into the legs. Go ahead and bring the arms up. Have it loose enough that you can easily take it all the way around. And then in the back, you're just going to turn the wrists. And then we're going to come all the way up and bring it through. And we're just looking for a gentle stretch. As you do this, just go ahead and kind of nod the headline from left to right. Find your breath on the inhale and the exhale. Try to be very mindful as you're doing it. You're not sort of going clunk, clunk between shoulders. And then on this one, go ahead and put your hands on your quads and just roll it down just partway, just partway. See how the knees, hips, ankles are feeling. Roll it all the way up. Inhale as we come up. Let's start focusing on the breath. Exhale as that goes behind. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth, and roll it down. Maybe go into a passive squat, getting a little deeper. And then roll it all the way up. Again, if those knees, hips, ankles aren't ready to go deeper, keep it nice and shallow. Go one more time, bring it up. And on this one, I'm going to put fists down to the floor. If you're tight, just to the quads and bring it all the way down. Once down here, go ahead and leave your knuckles down and just start spinning through those hips a little bit. Start to move through that hip line, see how the hip line's feeling, see how the knees and the toes are. Come up on the ball of foot as you twist to one side. And then up on the other ones. So you're getting that full range. Again, if that's a little tight, you can be up here kind of getting that sway still. From here, drop your tailbone heavy. Drop your heels if you've got the flexibility back there. And then slowly roll it all the way up. As you come up, just decrease that turnout. Bring this open. Spin it all the way to the back. And once you go back there, rotate your palms. And then just reach and lower. So you're still standing nice and wide, but we're just pushing away with the arms. As you push away, try not to fold forward in the torso, right? So it's an extension of that shoulder as you push back. Let's do one more there. Press it back. Bring it. Unfold. Come all the way around. And let's go ahead and go into that passive squat one more time, nice and deep. And then inhales, you start to come up. Exhale. Rotate the feet into parallel. Open it. Stay here with the hands behind. Turn the palms and just give me a little squat. So we're just doing a little baby here. Doesn't have to be very deep. Once you get that squat going, see if you can get the extension of the shoulders going. So squat down, stay, push the arms and lower. Now this just depends on the length of your arms. I've got long arms so I can scooch it underneath the quad and the hamstring. You may not be able to. It might touch your booty. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's go four more. Big dip, breath in. And go three. Warming up those quads a bit. In two. Now on this one, bring it all the way forward. Stay in the forward flexion. Bring the hands down and extend to the legs. Now that's a little tight. Go on your shins or your quads. Look through your legs and just breathe here. Let everything dangle in that inverted position. Inhale, exhale. And then bend the knees, drop the tailbone. Just drag the arms up. Roll the shoulders back. And go ahead and find that band with a little bit of tension. Reach it up. Find your squat and just pull the band into the chest line on this one. So I'm pulling it across my chest and bringing it back. So I'm just holding my squat again. My palms are reaching to the side. Pinkies are up. I'm just going to go four more. Little pulse. Three more. Exhale, two. And last one. Bring it all the way in. Hands on your quads. Deepen your squat. And then take it to a cow. Cat cow. Exhale. So cat up. And inhale back down into your long spine. Exhale and round. Inhale and deepen. So if you want to get a little deeper, go ahead and widen out those legs a bit. Round it up. And deepen. And one more time. Round it. And deepen. 
Now stay in the deep end. See if you can shift your weight forward and lift the heels a little bit and then lower. Now, if you're okay, take that band out, hold it a little tighter. And as you lift the heels, open the band and close it. Just work on a little balance here, finding that nice, strong connection point into our toes. It doesn't have to be a very big releve. One more time, hold that little heel, pulse the arms out. Four, three, two, one. Lower the heels, lower the hands, press up into that hamstring stretch again, you guys. Rock it back and forth here. Inhale, exhale. And then bend the knees, drop the tailbone, articulate all the way up. And just roll and stack those shoulders at the top. So let's find a little bit of rotation. Hold the palms up. Pull it into your waistline. Slight bend to the knees. And on this one, we're just going to pull a little bit to the right as we rotate to the right. Inhale. Exhale, center. Inhale, rotate. So really focusing on that rotation from the rib cage and the neckline, thoracic spine coming around the corner. And then hold here on this one and give a little side flexion. Stack it to tall, bring it back to center. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, flexion. Inhale, stack to tall. Exhale, center. Roll the shoulders. We'll come back to that. Widen the stance a little bit, reach up. And let's just start a nice gentle lateral flexion. Just a nice wide lateral and then bring it right back up. Lateral the other way. Bring it up as that starts to warm up. Get your feet in a little closer. Lateral. Pull down with that bottom hand and bring it up. And then exhale over. Inhale, bring it up. Now on this one, challenge it and get the feet closer. Pull into that one hand, drop it down. Send both arms out as your hips go in opposition. Feet to the floor. Really take the pinky hand of the top arm, slice it through, let your bottom arm drop and give me a stir of the pot. Big breaths here, you guys. This is a hard place to find big breaths. See if you can bring it in. Go ahead and stir the other direction. Reach that arm, actively press it, and then come across the front like you're kind of rolling up into hundreds. Roll the shoulders, come all the way to the top again, drop the shoulders down. Over we go. Press that top arm, pull in the bottom arm, and then reach both as you push your hips in opposition, right? Huge breaths into the intercostal muscles, opening into the hip line, and then leave that arm reaching, drop the arm, the bottom one, stir the pot, couple inhales, exhales, inhale nose, exhale mouth, switch the other direction, keep your breath nice and large, reach that, press a little bit, come through the front again, bring it all the way around, beautiful, give those a little roll. Let's widen out our stance, and take it in sort of that big rotational matrix. So come right down into your squat, reach one arm over the other. So I'm pivoting that over and then I'm stretching. Pull your band as you extend up and then come right down and circle. And then pull the band apart as you come across the back and circle. On this one, unwind. Come the other direction, reach, lengthen, lift that heart and bring it down, and one more time, reach and lift, open the heart, bring it down, stay in the down, press those heels, toes out a little farther, and just come forward into flat back. Now, if you're fairly tight, you're gonna take the band behind the back and use that to press open in the shoulders. If you're not too tight, you very well might be able to interlace and pull the arms over. So use your band if you need to. Your legs are wide. They can be in parallel or slightly turned out. And you're just into that forward flexion, stretching through the shoulder girdle. Inhale, exhale. We're going to do a little boomerang. So we want those shoulders open in this position. Now start to lift your chest up. So your chest now is parallel to the floor. Reach your arms actively to the side. And then find your glutes, your hamstrings, and your back extensors and engage those as you pull yourself up into tall. That's a tough one. Roll the shoulders, go internal, external rotation as we bring the feet and the knees and the hips all the way in. Give a little wiggle there. Go ahead and place this, your band, equal tails on each side towards the very end of your mat, but we're gonna do a little bit of flow before we use it. So just make sure it's far enough away you're not gonna stick a foot on it by mistake. Gets all sticky. Reach it up and let's just do a little flow. Come all the way down, hands to the floor, bend the knees if you need to here, you guys. Walk it out to cat. In four, 
three, two and one, the hands go together, the knees come down. Uncurl the toes, round the spine into angry cat, big exhale, hinge your hips down to your glutes, or sorry, your, your glutes down to your heels. Reach those hands what feels a little too far forward, feeling stretch in the lats. Come right back up into your rounded, and then go through your tailbone, lift into your cow, get that arch sensation. Again, drop your tailbone heavy, big exhale. Inhale, sit back, reach those arms forward. As you reach and feel the stretch in your armpit, your lats, teres major, all those kind of muscles running down the sidelines. And then come all the way up, rounded. And then through your neutral into that cow. And then bring it back to neutral. Stay here. Take your right hand and reach for a very low hand shake. Watch it didn't shift over to one side. So you're just kind of reaching that arm forward and then place it down and then reach the other. So the spine stays in neutral spine, neutral pelvis. And we're just lifting an arm off and looking for a low hand shake without popping that shoulder girdle. Now go ahead and keep both hands down. Let's do the same on the lower half. So on this one, I'm just going to stretch my leg out. I'm keeping my toes down on the ground. And then I'm going to really turn on the rib hip connection on that leg and just lift a straight leg out. And then I'm going to tuck the knee and bring it all the way down. Do the same on the other side. Reach it out. Think that Miss America sash, rib hip nice and strong. When you get to the foot on the floor but the leg stretched, straighten the knee fully and then find the glute to lift the leg and then bring it down. So let's put the front and the back together. Alternating cat, one arm, one leg, you reach out. Watch here you don't drop your shoulders, right? Or drop your pelvis. Keep it strong and pull it back in. So this is our alternating cat or watchdog. Exhale, press out. Inhale, pull in. Exhale, so opposite arm to leg. Stretch that out as full as you can. Go ahead and leave one arm, one leg up here so everything's reaching but the shoulders are engaged. Lower the hand and the foot and lift. Inhale, exhale. Let's go five. No movement in your torso. Four, three, two. Warming up stabilization. One, hold it reaching. Bring it back. Shift to the other side. One arm reaches. The opposite leg reaches. Shoulders shift down and we're lower lifting. Four, three. Leg as straight as you can. Glute is squeezing. Two, and one, bring it all the way back in. Curl your toes. Let's get little pins and needles there. So I'm actually bringing up my foot and curling my toe under with full purpose and then leaning back into it. So that feels good. You can get a little more pressure in there. If the knees don't like that, come up tall. Otherwise, sit back and go ahead and just reach your arms actively behind you and lift your heart. Now, if you're able to interlace the hands and reach, if you can get your thumbs, the pads of the thumbs together and reach, go ahead and go there. Open that chest, couple really big breaths here, you guys. Super hard place to get big breaths, right? The chest is open, we're really expanding, but we're contracting the back muscles. And as we do that, that's actually where our breath goes on the inhale. So it's really hard to get that big breath. Go ahead and slowly let that come out, roll those shoulders. Let's shake out that pins and needles, just rattle it out, and then curl the toes. Let's warm up a little bit of plank so we're nice and strong, lift an inch. Shoulders down, push away so that you're not dropping through your sternum bone. And let's hold for four, three, nice strong breath, two, either child's pose or lift, and let's get that first down dog. So I'm gonna lift it, the down dog and I'm paddling into my feet a bit, starting to stretch out those toes, stretch out the calves, Inhale, exhale. If you find yourself slipping on your mat, just hold the edges of it slightly. And then drop both heels if you're able to and sink into those shoulders a little bit. So here, if you don't bring your shoulders away from your ears and downwardly rotate the shoulder, bridle, shoulder, shoulder girdle, you will not be able to get down into the stretch. So you need to get your shoulders placed here. Really big breath here, guys. And then rise up, come forward on the shoulders, get your hands right underneath you, and let's go pouncing cat. So back and forth. So you're pushing back and coming forward. Let's go for four and three. Remember, if you don't want to be up on those toes, I could be down on the knees right here, right? I could lower that down. Go two more. Stay in the forward. 
lower the knees, uncurl the toes. We're going to go lazy here. So if you know you need to go to your elbows, go ahead. I'm going to my elbows. I'm going to bend and come down, place my hands in front, reach my legs parallel, open as comfortable, and just come up into a little bit of a lazy floppy push-up, right? So butt is totally relaxed, wiggle it out, lower back is relaxed, and I'm allowing the movement to occur in my spine. And then I'm going to lower that down. Now, if you've got curvature and you're like, okay, that feels good. I want to come a bit higher. Remember, don't squeeze the butt. Don't pull the abs in. Come up lazy. So my elbows are flaring out a bit. I'm hanging out in my shoulders. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just trying to find the spinal mobility here. Bring it down. Maybe on this last one, you can go a little farther. We're going to press again. It's about the spinal mobility. So the pubic bone stays anchored. Forcing the lumbar spine to go into an anterior curve. It's, it already exists in an anterior curve. We're looking for more. Big breath there. And then bring it down. So a little sphinx here. So this time legs open as comfortable. Maybe slightly laterally rotated. But bring your arms into 11s. So I now have my shoulder underneath my elbow. Or vice versa, I guess. Elbow underneath the shoulder. Palms are open. I make 11 with my forearm. I want you to pull the abs in. So instead of letting that release, draw the abs in, draw your shoulders into your back pockets, and if your neck is okay with it, look forward. The glutes might be turned on gently. Don't death grip them, but they might feel a little activation. We're good with that. Pull your shoulders down so there's a depression of the shoulder, and then if you think of kind of pulling your elbows together, although you can't because they're down on the ground, but if you have the sensation of pulling them in a little bit, you'll get a downward rotation sensation of the shoulder girdle or the shoulder blade, holding there for four, three, draw your abs up, find transversus, two, and one, push your elbows out to the side, place your hands nice and strong, curl your toes, you can either do a full push up here or do it from the knees, I'm going to go knees first and then bring my um, knees off into full push up, pike back, and then walk your hands to your feet in four, Three, all the way in on two and one. Bend the knees, drop the tailbone. Articulate your spine. Big breath. Give me an extension. We should be nice and warm. Hands down, center heart. Roll the shoulders. And then go ahead and step forward with your foot into the center of that band. So my arch is over, a little bit of my heel, a little bit of my ball of foot. I'm going to start with my back leg parallel, long. Drop the knee just initially. Grab hold of your band. I prefer a wrap. So I'm going to get an equal on both sides. I'm going to give me one wrap so that I don't have to death grip holding on. And then I'm going to lift that back leg to straight. From here, I'm going to straighten my front leg and bend it. If I want more resistance, wrap again. My arms are not rowing. They're just staying straight. What I do want you to do is pull your shoulders back a bit so that you feel the back extensors turn on as you do this. If your back toe doesn't like this, you can turn your heel so it kind of is a bit more warrior, especially if you've got a bunion or, or a little arthritis going there. Bend deep. Get right in there. Press all the way to straight. Find your balance. Go four more. And three. We are going to add arms in two. Right now we're just using resistance of the band on that front leg. Now go ahead and stay with it down. Bend your back knee in a little bit, lift your heart, and I'm going to decrease my tightness of my band, down and bicep curl, down and curl, five, four, three, two, one, stay in the down, and go ahead and lengthen your back leg into a warrior. So from here, I rotate in my back hip. I can relax off my back hand, and I'm going to rotate and row. Just play around with your tightness on your band. Pull and rotate. I want you to get right down into that hip. So down, breathe out. Nice. Five. Pull. Four. Three. Two. And one. Stay down here, let go of the tails, elbow can go on, and I can reach. If you know full pose, go ahead, bind, Kylie, if you want, full bind if you want. I can go a little deeper, reaching my fingers along my arch of the foot and go up, or I can deepen 
and get into that bind. I haven't done this one for a while. Holding five, four, three, two, one. Rotate back to the center and let that knee go down. Oh, well, that was just ugly in my body. I don't know about anybody else's. <laughs> I haven't done that one for a while. Move that band forward so it doesn't stick to the bottom of your foot. And I just want you to cruise in and out of the hip flexor stretch. Just press in and out of that. Nice and gentle. And then let's go ahead and stay in the hip flexor. Push into your hands, lift your heart. One arm the other, if it feels okay. You can go ahead and bind into that and open your chest. Again, the bigger the breath, the deeper you're gonna get. Allow that arch to happen in your body, but you do have a flirt of connection here. Don't let it go floppy. Gently come out of that. Take the front leg, laterally rotate it out. You can go to the hands down. You can go to the elbows down. I'm just going hands today. Couple breaths there. If it feels okay, you can add that gecko of rotation. Lengthening that out. From here, let's get the neckline having a bit of visual, if it's okay with the neck. Look to the floor, look to the sky. That sky is against gravity. That can be a hard rotation on the neck. Make sure your shoulders are shifted down. Bring it back to center. Press it into the hamstring stretch. Here, I'm just gonna point and flex that front foot. Breathe into that. We will come back to deeper hamstring stretches, guys. Both hands to the front, bring that leg around. Curl those toes. Before you lift up, just kind of place your band, since we're in the four-point stance here, place your band nice and long because we're going to step on it again right away. Mine is sticking. There we go. Lift up. Find your little down dog. Give it a little wiggle, whatever feels good here. Slowly walk your hands to your feet. Let everything dangle, and then bend as you float up. Big inhale at the top. Little wiggle. We're going to step forward with that opposite foot, right? So find it nice and strong. Set it up. Drop your knee down. And then find your bands. Find equal tails on each side. Give it a little wrap. And then from there, lean forward so you got more power in your glute and hamstring. Curl your back toe. Lift it up. So back leg is staying straight. Again, you can go warrior if you need to, if that toe doesn't like it. And then just push away from the floor. So right now on these first couple pushes, I want to think of my shoulders. If I can see my shoulders in peripheral, I want to think of pulling them back gently and then the elbows tucking in so that I feel that my whole back line is helping me stabilize, right? So you shouldn't feel yourself forward flexing here. Go as deep as you can. Try to press to straight. So challenge your balance here. Yeah, back leg is straight. It's not a back lunge with the bent knee. Go two more. It is a lunge, but not with bent back leg. And one. Now stay down halfway. Tuck the back leg in a little bit. Lift the heart. So instead of the bicep curls here, I actually want you to lean forward a little bit. Loosen the band if you have to, but give me some kickbacks. So I'm leaning forward into that <clears throat> front glute. Let's go five. Deepen if you can. Four. Breathe. Three. Two. And one. Bring it back up tall. Warrior your back foot. Here you might want to press it out a little bit. I'm going to hold this hand quite loose and then add a rotation. Start the rotation with the row first of the arm. And once you have the band at a nice resistance, Add that press into that front leg. Here I want you to peek at your front knee and see that it's not collapsing over your big toe, that you're pushing it out slightly. If you want to get deeper, widen out your stance a bit. Go three more, two more, and one. Now stay in the down. Let your band go. Hand goes on or elbow goes on, and we reach, working for you. Go a little deeper with that palm running the inside of the leg and reach. Or if you're okay, get right down there into your bind and open your shoulders. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, one. Rotate back to center. Drop that knee. Move that band to the front so your feet don't stick on it and then come up into your hip flexor stretch. And let's just mobilize gently into it again. Just that little rocking forward and backwards. 
Have your back leg far enough back that when you lean forward, you feel the hip flexor stretch without this knee going way over your toe. Stay in the forward. Feels good. Push your palms into your leg. Lift your heart. Still good. One arm, the other arm. If you're okay with it, go ahead and bind. Couple big inhales, exhales for me, you guys. The bigger, the better, right? Especially in the stretches for the breath. Push out of your hips slightly. Laterally rotate out the front leg. Maybe even take it off to the side a bit. Come into that lateral rotation, rocking side to side. If you're okay, go right to your elbows. If this is still working for you, you could go to elbows or hand. Push into that knee and give a little rotation. Notice your shoulder comes up around your ears. Pull that away as you peek. Couple really big breaths there again, you guys. Bring it back to center. Both hands are strong. Push your hips back and then straighten out that front leg so it's right from the hip socket. So in the gecko, you tend to move it off to the side, right? So I actually grab my leg and I pull it back so it's in line with my sit bone and then go point and flex. Point and flex for the ankle. Cycle your breath. And then both hands to the inside, bring that leg all the way around. Grab hold of that band. And I just want you to put it behind your back, underneath your armpits, and you've got equal tails. And we're just gonna do a little bit of a reformer movement. It's, it's um, a air press push up. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my toes underneath. Like your toes don't like that, you don't have to. And then I'm just gonna press forward as I come off my thighs. So right here, I'm looking for extension of my hip. So my rect fem as a hip flexor here gets a stretch. And then I'm just pushing my hands to the front. Now, if this is comfortable and you feel strong here, I want you to stay here with this pattern. If you're okay with it and you want a bit more, you're gonna take that down to the ground, move the knees back, have your hands quite wide, and turn it into a push-up. So you could be a modified push-up or a longer push-up, or you could bring those knees off and be in full push-up. Let's go five of whatever you chose. Four, the band is causing resistance as you push away. Three, two, one, one knee down, other knee down, come all the way up and just roll those shoulders for me. Go ahead and put that band to the very front, curl the toes, lift, find a little down dog, add a little poodle wag here. So I'm wiggling my tailbone from left to right. Knees can be bent. Walk your hands into your feet and at the inside, bend the knees, curl that spine, give a little wiggle at the top and then work your way to the front of your mat. So we're gonna do a couple stand-up sit-downs. We haven't done these ones for a while. Remember, if you're not a fan of them, you can go into a big passive squat and then come back up. If you're okay, you're gonna sit down, roll, and then come back up. Make sure you're not close to anything behind your head to hit, right? So we're gonna go for four. Round, curl, get your heels underneath you, and then lift up and just push your arms behind you on the tall. Come right down, curl, big breath out, get those feet underneath you and push. Two more. And lift. And one more for me, guys. And lift. On this one, we're gonna stay down but sit up on our tush. So nice and low, roll, and up on the tush. Beautiful, straighten out those legs. Find your legs in the corner of your mat and then bring them into halfway. So find the corner, bring them in halfway, take the band loose around the foot, right? So I'm gonna back up here because we're gonna do some toe action first. So from here, I'm gonna go loose and then I'm gonna open my band wider. So depending on the tightness of your band, be careful. I have a, a bit looser of a band today so I can stretch it wider without too much resistance. My knees and my quads are staying where they, where they are. They're not rolling in and out, but I'm just working the outside of that ankle bone. So it's sickling with control and then I'm waving it out and bringing it in. And that band is just giving me some nice resistance. We're warming up the paraspinals, we're sitting tall. So already if that tall sit, if you feel yourself slouching back into your hindquarters, bend your knees to sit tall or sit up on a pad. 
Let's just do four more little windshield wipers. Three and two. So this is working the peroneals along the side of the ankles, just that balance. And now move just one. Keep one constant, move one. Four, three, two, and one. Now keep that constant and move the other one. Press it. See if you've got more mobility or less mobility in one ankle than the other. Last two and one. Now keep it not pushed out to the side, but just kind of neutral as if you were standing on them. Tighten up your band and give me some rows. So I'm just going to turn at a side angle here. So make sure you're sitting tall. You've got a little resistance there. If you want more resistance, wrap it and row. Row into the waistline or slightly below with those fists. If you row up, you're going to go into your upper traps. We want to get more middle traps here as we just pull in. So when we pull straight out from the anchor point, it's more middle traps you're going to get. When you pull from a higher point, you're going to get lower fibers of the traps. And when we pull from a lower point up, we get upper fibers, upper traps. Here we're just getting that middle trap rhomboid. Let's go four more. Four and three. Exhale, two and one. And then release that. Cross your straps. Cross your straps. The bottom hand's going to anchor to your knee. Top hand, double up or not. It's up to you. But as I pull it, I'm going to pull it into the same spot and then add my rotation. Here I'm going to be very mindful as I rotate to not move my pelvis, rib cage. So when the hand gets to the waistline here, the rest of it is rotational. The rest of it's rotational. Go four more. Breathe out as you pull. Three. Activate those feet still. Two. Now keep that hand on your waistline. Drop your elbow. Tuck it down and back. And pulse. Pulse. Five, four, three, nice, two, sit tall, one, bring it all the way out. Let your toes curl in, that'll turn off that outer thigh muscle a little bit, and switch your lead hand. Whatever hand you're pulling on, it has to be on top, otherwise it's awkward how it pulls on the band. Increase that little turn in, to uh, uh, that ankle activity, drop your non-moving arm down and away. So this arm is still active, and then start your rows. Exhale. Mind's eye as you row, are you moving your pelvis? The cervical goes, the thoracic goes, the lumbar joins the party. The pelvis does not. The pelvis stays nice and strong. Go two more. Exhale, cut the room in half with your vision. Inhale, bring it back. Last one. Now anchor that hand to your rib cage. Get that little bit of rotation. And then from there, give me more. So as you give me more, you're getting into modifidine rotatares which are these tiny little paraspinals. Moldifidae is one of the most important ones in the stabilization of the spine. Four, so yeah, we want to get there. Three, two, and one, all the way back. Beautiful. Let those feet come in and give those legs a little paddle. Bring that band and just kind of lay it in front. Let's get a little diamond roll back here. Just warm up that lower back a little bit. Hands just underneath the knees. My fists are about, I don't know, six or seven fists from my pubic bone to my heels. I'm going to exhale, roll off my sit bone around your spine. Inhale, come around the corner. Give a little pull here. Maybe even move the inspiration, rock side to side, wherever you need to do. And then start at your tailbone and stack. Go again, exhale, rock off the sit bone. Inhale, give it a little pull forward. One more big breath here, getting that. The spine here, the lumbar spine and the, the sacrum are vertical to the earth. Your thoracic is reaching forward. And then peel to tall. And this one, we're going to go deeper in our stretch. Exhale, scoop. Hollow. Bring your hands in and around through your legs. Wrap them. And now stretch that out again. So I'm really trying to pull my ASIS back. I'm trying to pull my hips back. Uh, or my pelvis back as I reach forward with my thoracic and my lumbar spot or uh, thoracic and neckline. Really breathe big here, guys. One more breath. Start at your tailbone. Stack that to tall. Roll those shoulders. Take that band and put it either into the balls of your feet if you don't tend to get too crampy. If you get a little crampy, put it around your arches. So I'm just holding it around like it's got a little hood over top of my toes. And I'm going to start with a roll down. Now, if that's difficult, bend the knees, right? Or get that little towel to help you close the kinetic chain on your lower back. 
I'm going to scoop the abdominals, roll vertebrae by vertebrae all the way down. Let my head touch. Inhale, cerv cervical nod. Now, if you lift your heels, I need you to bend your knees. Exhale, come around the corner and then just fold. So my band is helping me a little bit. Inhale, roll it back, vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae. Find neutral and long. Inhale, cervical nod, look to your toes, belly button. Exhale, squish the air out of your lower back and fold. One more time. You'll feel a hammy stretch as you roll up. You'll also notice you start moving backwards on your mat. That's okay. Inhale, cervical nod, big breath out. Exhale, come around the corner and fold. Stack to tall here. So on this one, we're going to bend the knees as we roll back and go in more to a tabletop position. So scoot, bend your knees, and tabletop the legs. Beautiful. So from here, I'm just going to roll up, and as I roll up, I'm going to stretch my legs out and then roll down to come down. Exhale, roll up, stretch the legs, and bring it down. Couple more. So if my legs are heavy in this position, I will tighten up my band. If it's not feeling too bad, you can leave your band quite loose here, almost to the point where the band is giving you no love. And then I'm going to lower those legs so they're kind of almost parallel to the floor as I'm in my roll up. And then bring it in. So remember, that's up to you how deep you go. Exhale. So I'm finding a little bit of a hundreds, but the legs are too low for hundreds. And bring it back in. Now we're going to go to teaser. I'm going to modify. If you know the full teaser, you're going to go right to it. I'm going to wrap. Use my band, cervical nod, roll up. I'm going to hold my teaser in this little tight position. I still want to try and lengthen the thoracic, not extend, but lengthened. Lumbar is in a slight, uh, slight flexion. I'm going to roll it down. So if you know full teaser, go to it. I'm going to go one more time modified. Inhale, look to your pubic bone. Exhale, use that band. And maybe you're going to straighten them out here. Maybe straighten them out, still with bent elbows. When I come down, I can scoop and roll. Now it's feeling good. Those legs stretch out. I hold my band at its very bitter end. Inhale, roll up. And then I use that band to push away. Nice, strong inhale. Choose your level, guys. And then scoop and come down. Almost touch, but not quite. Two more. Inhale, cervical nod. Exhale, float it up. Inhale, hold. Abs engage nice and strong. Push those palms back, right? Actually press them. There it is. And then scoop and roll down. And one more time, cervical nod. Exhale. And then press that band back there. And then come through. Let your band go. Drop down to your elbows. Beautiful. Legs are glued together. I'm going to circle and come up. Hip circles. Switch directions. Exhale down. Inhale up. Switch directions. Exhale down. Inhale up. Not happening. Bend the knees. Exhale down. Inhale up. From here, lift your breastbone. Don't collapse into your chest. Press and up. One more time. Press and up. Now here's the nasty. Come back up into your teaser. Grab that band. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. And then roll it down. Take your feet out of the band. Put it over your belly. Give me some windshield washers. Ooh. Inhale, exhale for me, you guys. We're going to do one more little set into those abs. We're going to do a little set of hundreds here. The band is going to be over your shins. Go ahead and find yourself in your set position. And then find a slightly supported spine. Knee fold one, knee fold the other. Now, if you don't want to roll up, you don't have to. You just don't put this as far down the shins. All right, if you're okay with the roll up, cervical nod, roll up, take your band, throw it over the middle section of your shins. Squeeze your legs right together. Reach forward with your thumbs open and just bring that down towards your booty. Not quite at the floor, but almost. Now the knees are going to want to do this. I want you to hold them tight and just pat the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, twenty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. If you want to go straight legs, you can, but it's without the band. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Five, exhale, two, three, four, 40. Inhale, two, three, <laughs> exhale, two, three, four, 50. Roll it up a little bit. Exhale, two, three, four, 60. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Strong arms padding, 70. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Abs drawn up and in, 80. Last two, three, 
four, five. Exhale, two, three, four. Last one. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, one hundred. Roll it down. Ugh. Put that band over your thighs. And we're going to tabletop to release. Grab and roll up. If doable, thumbs point to your booty. If not, they can point to the side. Remember, not hyperextended back here. This allows us to try to take your shoulders to roll them open. Go ahead and press up into that first little tabletop. Look at your body. If your knees are tucked under, get them more underneath your, or sorry, if your feet are tucked under, get them more underneath your knees. If your head's okay, look to the sky. Big breath here. Exhale, bring it down. Again, exhale, press up. Inhale, bring it down. So I just switched that breath on you guys. Go two more. Exhale, press up. And down. We are going to do wild thing here. One more time. Exhale. If your wrists are not having it, bring it down. Wild thing will be done on the elbows. So I can drop down to an elbow to do this. Otherwise, I'm going to take my one hand in between my legs. This hand has to change positions. It actually turns out. But because I rotate open it will be in a good position. The shoulders forward here. When you come around the corner, rotate your shoulder down and away. That little movement there, do it a couple times, that's important. That movement of that shoulder, rotating open in its socket is important. So from here, we're gonna lift, and now my shoulder has opened up as I stretch. Go ahead if it feels good here, lift your hips a little farther, get that stretch, and then bring it all the way down, right to center. Two more. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. And one more. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. So you're not on a slippery spot. Have that hand really close to the edge of your mat because this time we're going to come up part way but go into a side plank. If side plank, you need to go to your elbow. Please do so. So I'm going to come up halfway. Halfway. Step out one foot strong. Rotate my pelvis forward. Be on my arm strong. So line it up. If you can get this back leg to greet, go ahead. If it needs to stay staggered, go ahead. If it needs to stay bent, that's fine. We're holding for five, four, three. Lift up your hips. Two and one. Put that leg behind and come down. Beautiful. Same thing on the other side. Roll that shoulder out. That arm just did a fair amount of stabilization. Give a little reach. Take your other hand, place it, and let's do three wild things. Press up, find your positioning, big breath, bring it down, two more, press it up, and bring it down. Remember that shoulder needs to open. We didn't do that on this side, we probably should have. So make sure that shoulder's moving how it should, right? That little rotation. And then go one more, sorry guys, I should have done that. And bring it down. Now this time we're not going all the way up, just halfway. Feels good, you're gonna step out with one foot, Rotate around. If you need to leave that leg back there, do so. If you can leave it back there but straight, go ahead. If you can stack it, go for it. Reach the arm to the sky, vision forward. Hold your balance for five, four, breathe, three, two. On one, put the foot back, bend the knee, and fold it back down. Beautiful. Roll those shoulders. And go ahead and just roll yourself back down to your mat. So we're going to get a little hammy here. I'm going to take my ball of foot. I'm not going to go pointed toe. If you want to go pointed toe, you can. I'll cramp. So I'm going to go ball of foot arch. And then I'm going to roll up, grab, and then pull my elbows down to anchor. So I want to feel the band stretching on this. If you're tight in the hamstrings, just make sure you're starting it with pushing it away a bit versus being straight to the sky. If you're fairly flexible, don't pull it in front of your eyes. Keep it to the sky. Get this foot set, and we're just going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. So if you want more resistance on that push leg, go ahead and grab higher on your band. Press and down. Let's go for four. Neutral spine, neutral pelvis. Three. Exhale, two. Now stay as high as you're able to without arching the back, lower and lift, lower and lift. Let's go for five. So that band just goes between my leg on the one side, four. Squeeze the glute, lift those hips, three, 
and two, and one. Keep it reaching to the sky. Pulse the butt up. Pulse, pulse. Squeeze the butt cheek. Go for eight, seven, six, five. Breathing four, three, two, one, and down. We'll get a deeper stretch when we're done both sides. Bring that leg down. Give a little kind of open close of the hips. Roll up. Place that foot either ball of foot or arch. I'm going arch. Grab equally on both sides. Anchor that down. Again, if it's pulling you into a stretch, push it away. If you can't get this leg to straight, reach it out. Slight bend is perfectly fine here, guys, right? Get this heel into your tush, bottom leg, and press up. And lift. So you're sort of doing a hip thrust against the resistance of your band. So it's not a nice little push up. It's a thrust and hold. And thrust and hold. Let's go for four. And three. So yeah, your arms and shoulders are working isometrically, holding on nice and tight. And two. There is a workload happening on the shoulders. And one. Keep it pressed as high as you're able to. Lower it. Lift it. Just reset your hands so that that strap can go in between your legs without being awkward. Go four more. And three. Big range of motion on the hip here, you guys. And two. Into extension, into flexion. And one. Hold it to the sky. Bend it a little bit if you need to. And pulse that booty. Squeeze. 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 So it's not a hip thrust now. It's a squeeze and turn on and off. Five. Four. Breath. Three. Two, one, and down. Roll up to take that off. Double up your band so it has less resistance. And we're going to do the flamenco one, two, and three. So roll up, place that band, whatever leg you want to do first, you guys. Once it's there, get your knee straight. So if knee straight is out here, that's where you are. Knee straight is straight is closer in, that's where you are. And then roll up and grab as high as you can. And then just lie down. Now, if you want this foot anchored, go ahead. If you're able to stretch it, go ahead. If you have more stretch in you, you just roll a little higher and pull that hip in a little closer. We're going to very gently point and flex the ankle. Be mindful as you do this. It doesn't come in when you flex up. The, the band doesn't come flying across into your face, please. Inhale, exhale. Find that little stretch. Remember, we shouldn't be shaking and fighting the stretch. We should find a position that we can kind of hold comfortably. Use your passive gravity. And just melt into it. Now grab it with the same hand as foot. Take it up into the stretch. And then over she goes. As far as you can. If that's uncomfortable on the knee, you could take a ball or a pillow underneath your quad or your knee as you push it out, right? Inhale, exhale. Let your shoulders drop down. Let your shoulders be open to the floor. So the whole upper torso is in a very passive position. One more big breath, getting the inner thigh and the inside hamstring. Gently pull it all the way up. Grab it with the opposite hand as to foot. You might need to bend the knee here. Pull up for a bit of a stretch and then over we go. We're getting rotation now and we're getting that whole side of the glute. Try and rotate the opposite direction and unclench your bottom butt cheek. It'll like to stabilize here. Find that rotation in your spine. Couple really big breaths, roll that shoulder open. One more big breath. Bend the knee to come out of this one. Bend it so that when you rotate open, it's not so much heavy weight load on that back. And then set yourself, take the band off, stretch out your other leg, place it on top, find it first, stretch it till you can get the knee straight. So if you're here and you're bending fully and that's where you grab, um, it is a good stretch, but in this stretch, we can have a straight leg. So find straight, roll up, find tension, roll down. Bottom leg straight or bent, up to you. When you're good, you can add that point flex through the foot. Cycle your breath for me. When it feels okay, if you need to stay there longer, do so. If once it's okay, grab it with the same hand as foot drag it off to the side. Your pelvis might lift and shift a bit. Go ahead and let it. Not a big deal on this. We're, we're thinking more so of the stretch through the inner thigh and the back hamstring. Here again, you can point and flex. Anytime you can point and flex, go right ahead. It's just going to activate those stretches a little bit more. One more cycle of breath. And then if you need to, you bend the knee. I'm using my hand to really help my hip. 
come back up. So there is some push into my arms there. Opposite hand is to foot, find your stretch, over you go. Once you're there, try and rotate the opposite direction, roll this shoulder open, relax your bottom butt cheek. Hard place to find a big breath, but go ahead and try. Get that air in there. Two more breaths. One more big breath. On this one, bend the knee to derotate back to center. Take that band off, grab behind those legs. Let's roll that up. So we're going to go right into some extension work. Flip it over to the front side and just take that band, keep it um, in, its, in its half position and just slip it into the small of your back for now. We're not going to use it immediately, just slip it in there. Just going to take that microphone off. We're going to find some nice swan first. So laterally rotate out your legs and then find your big toe reaching to the outside of your mat, equal on both sides of your mat. Bring your elbows down, just watch it doesn't catch your band here. My thumbs are just on the outside of my shoulders. My abs are pulled in. So this is not floppy. Engage. Push the marble. Press and find your swan. Lengthen that up. Big inhale, inhale here. Shoulders down. No tension in your neck. And then when you come down, pull yourself farther forward. Imagine lengthening your spine as you traction yourself forward. Take an inhale again. Push that marble. Lengthen. Pull those abs into counterbalance so the transverse abdominus is turned on. Look over to one side. Bring it center. Look over to the other side. Bring it center. Pull long as you come down. And now we're just going to alternate between glider two. If you don't like that on your back with the leg bending, don't do it. Lengthen up. Nice and strong. Now as I look one way, I'm going to bring my opposite heel into my tush. Notice we kind of twist to the side. That QL works harder on that leg bending side so be careful with it look the other way bend to run away from the ql we twist we're trying to keep that nice and strong bring it back to center pull it all the way down give a little booty wiggle here so bring your legs a little closer in than the corners of your mat stretch the legs long and all i want you to do is put your hands into your forehead your forehead and down and just going to kick your butt for three we're going to go one two three reach one, two, three, reach. Now when you reach, see if you can straighten your legs, squeeze your glutes, and lift that quad just a hair off that mat. You have to find full straight legs to do that. If your legs aren't straight, your quad will not come off. One, two, three, reach. Now sneak your hands out from your forehead. Now if you need them on your forehead, keep it there. Right? If not, you're hovering your forehead off the floor. Your hands are in swan position. Now see if you can take your hands off and hover them as you reach. So we're looking to the floor. If you can lift your thoracic a little bit higher, go ahead. And we're going one, two, three, reach. Go two more. One, two, three, reach. One more time. One, two, three, reach. Turn your cheek, let that go down. Give your booty wiggle. So on this one, we will turn the cheek one direction when we do the three beats of our, butt, our heels into our butt, and then we'll come to the long extension in the middle and then turn the cheek the other direction. Double leg kick. So go ahead and grab your band in a position that your shoulders and elbows can just go flop down. If you don't need the band, don't use it. Interlace your hands, right? I'm using my band. Turn your cheek to one side. doesn't matter which side. Give me three pumps of the heels into your bum. One, two, three. As you kick those legs out with control, push that band out to straight. Rotate yourself and find your extension. Pull those abs in. Now turn your cheek. Bring your hands into the small of the back. Your elbows go floppy and we kick. One, two, three. Shh. Rotate. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale. Hold this reach. Turn your cheek. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale. Two more. This is a tough set. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale. You're going to give me one more, guys. Don't push your belly into the floor. Pull it up. Two, three. Hold this reach. If you need to, anchor your feet. If you're okay, keep them up. 
Open up that grip a little bit and let's push those shoulders to the sky. So if you're holding your hands together now, release them. Lift and lower. Focus on your knees. Straighten your knee joint. Straighten it. Reach it, reach it, reach it. And then find shoulder extension for three. You're almost there, you guys. Exhale, two. And last one. Let that band go into the small of the back. Push into whatever recovery is calling your name. Inhale, exhale. So if you just want to come up in beach pose, if your back feels okay coming out of that, just come beach pose. Give a little yes or no on the neckline. And we're actually going to do a couple deeper neck stretches today. We haven't done for a long time. Just kind of throw that band over a shoulder. Ah, leave it down. It's probably going to fall off you. Leave it down for now. Have your hands nice and strong. Come into your down dog. So hamstrings work on that extension. Um, as soon as we take the legs from neutral and extend them back, the job is done by the hamstrings and the glutes. So if you feel your glutes and hamstrings, perfect. That's what you want. Drop into that. You should also feel your back extensors as you lift the chest line. And when you lift your legs in that position against gravity, you'll feel the lower back muscles as well. Walk your hands to the feet in four, three, all the way in on two and one. And then bend as you fold. Come all the way up. Roll those shoulders. Give that neck a little movement. So here I'm going to double up my band so I'm not pulling against. I don't want it to be really elastic, elasticity. <laughs> Take this and just drop it over a shoulder. So I'm just dropping it over one of my shoulders. I'm just wearing it over the shoulder. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to end up grabbing as high as I can. This one wants to anchor. So hold it here, right? First of all, I like to take this hand and assist it to bring it as high up as I can, and then I grab it. So I'm looking for that first. Then I'm going to grab this hand, and I'm going to pull up on that shoulder a little bit more. So I'm wiggling it so it opens and it goes behind, and then I'm anchoring this down. <clears throat> so I'm looking for an external rotation of my shoulder. So those people who have this shoulder going forward quite a bit, that in itself is going to be tough, right? So from here, I'm just going to turn my neck in opposition to the elbow that's behind you. Gently. Oh. And then bring it back. And then gently stretch it out. So we're just getting a little range of motion here into the joints. And then we'll hold. So I'm just kind of going back and forth to start with. Now I'm just going to hold. Hold that. Take your nose. Push it up to the sky slightly. So give a little bit of attitude. Couple little breaths there. Drop that shoulder away from your ear, the one that's behind your back. And now slowly come out of that. Sniff your armpit. So turn your head, sniff your armpit, and then kind of round a bit and feel that stretch. So now I'm just going to turn my nose towards my shoulder a little bit. So I'm down and rotated, getting those back scalenes, some of those back extensor muscles in the neckline. And then gently come all the way out. And then I'm going to let that bottom arm drip out. And then give it some movement. Nice and slow. Take that. Bring it across the chest. Grab the elbow. Not across your neck. Pull it in. And then look the same direction of the shoulder you're pulling across. Wiggle those fingers. Let that arm drop out. Give it a little wave. Let it go. So all that nice shoveling is really hard on the shoulders and the arms, right? So we're, we're getting a little flow on them. We're letting them release out. So it's on the other side. I'm going to use this free hand to kind of help me pull this across to find the band. All right? So if I can't find the band, I'm going to give myself a bigger tail till I can find the band. Once I have the band, I'll grab it with this hand. Once I have it with the top hand, I'm going to use that hand to tuck my shoulder behind. So I've gone into a little lateral flexion initially to find it, and then I'm back into center. Then I'm going to add resistance as I pull it. Then if you can, you're going to wiggle that shoulder so the hand comes a little higher and your shoulder pulls back. From there, opposite direction of the band for your neck. Hold into that and then come out. So this one is just ear to shoulder. Just ear to shoulder and bring it back. Ear to shoulder, and bring it back. And then when you're good, keep it ear to shoulder. 
take your nose, give a little attitude and stick it up just a little bit. So your chin and your nose just go up a little bit. Oh, breathe. Bring your shoulders away from your ears. Think long, long, long in your torso. And then gently come out of that. Take the nose down towards your shoulder. Tuck it in a little bit. And then hold there. Again, some stretches are going to be a little more intense than others. Just see how it feels. Couple inhales, exhales. Bring it gently out of that. Let that band gently go. Give that arm a little circle. Release it out slowly. Right? Let it release slowly. That was a big stretch. Moving the, uh, the shoulder blade, which normally has a tendency, not the shoulder blade, the humerus in its socket has a tendency to internally rotate for a lot of us because we do so much here. So that movement, pushing it back and behind, that's super hard. So we're going to bring that arm across the chest now and look in opposition. Couple breaths there. Open that up. So here, just think light bulb, just last little movement in the shoulders. You've got light bulbs in your hands. Turn the light bulbs forward. So not just my wrist. I can do this, which is my ulna and my radius bone. My radius is just rotating over my ulna bone. I'm not looking for that. I want it to be the whole shoulder rotating in. So you can see that forward rotation. And then open, open the shoulders, open the chest, lift the heart. So now I'm trying to take my hands into a really big supinated position. And if anything, turn my thumbs even farther down and my pinkies to the sky as I lift, then bring your spine back to neutral, rotate the wrist line, rotate the shoulder line, feel everything come forward. And again, the body might run around a bit, that's okay. And now we're gonna go the opposite extreme, pinkies come up, thumbs go back, rotate your scapula and your shoulder open so there's a little retraction, down rotation, lift the heart, big breath here, guys. And then exhale, let everything drip down to center. Oh, Roll those shoulders, throw that away. Big inhales, we come up, guys. Exhale, hands down, center heart, and a little wiggle jiggle, and go the opposite direction. Open, same thing, stretch it open. Pull your hands apart, pull your palms back. Stretch it open as you slowly come down. <sighs> we are done.